So pretty easy to do. Okay, so let's go back to here, show all these individual parts. Let's go to the top view. Okay. Let's take a look at the the lag part. Because I didn't really know how the lag should be. I knew I wanted to have legs. So I have one sketch that shows the, the side of the leg and I also have one sketch with a corner with a line at 45 degree that helps me then later to position each leg. This is the reason why I have leg design and leg layout. So the layout is kind of like the, the top position. Very good. I figured out if I want to create a leg that is rotated and has a nice flow to it. So on this white surface, which I created, I can actually model that by using the revolve command. So this along here, very good. Then I will select the move command, you including this bottom face. Then this arm will move up. It snaps to this to the circular center on top. Then I can rotate this as much needed. Very good. Still looks kind of boring. And here comes the uh, genius thing. I select this edge and just round it as needed. And the more I push this one down, as you can see, the more uh, I get a transition. So that's the way how I build it. I started with a very thick initially in the sketch that all looked really good and you can see how step by step I started slipping the top parts down. They, they felt to be a little bit too massive. They also needed to be uh, printable in, in, and not use up excessive amount of material. Now let's go back to the leg layout because you notice that I built this part right at the center. So here's a leg prototype. This leg prototype has everything included, the, the wooden dolls where I'm going to join everything. Also two, two wooden dolls on top. Now how do I get all this into the correct position and then multiply it like you see in this case? It's actually very easy. So you see I work a lot from side views and then I move parts and rotate parts into position. That is from my point of view a lot easier than trying to model something that is rotated. So I will go to transform, rotate. Here I can select prototype, make a copy. And then I just rotate this 45 degrees, turn the make copy off, move it to there. Very good. Now I could go to translate. Now I cannot right now select the, the parts that are inside when I would, in case I would click on leg prototype folder. Yeah, let's do that. So this might be a good, good idea to also show how we group parts. So this and there, so socket and there. So you, I drag into there. Very good. And I hide this. Then I have this one that I drag to there. And then the, this doll, this doll, doll, doll. Okay. So you see this way by clicking on them in 3D view, it highlights them in the browser. And this way I can put everything into one group. That now makes it a lot easier when I go to transform, translate, 
I simply tap on the folder, it selects all the parts inside the folder, including the wooden dolls that are in there. Click Next. And now I can snap this to there. Sometimes it finds there is the center of the circle. Click Done. Very good. Now this is perfectly uh, centered to that corner, but the legs are too far to the edge. So I go transform one more time, move, select this folder again. There's my widget, this widget I move to there. This is also now why I have this line that's 45 degree rotated. You see the widget rotates then and auto aligns and then I move this one into the position. Perfect. Now to make multiple copies, I'll go simply mirror and say you mirror as a copy along that one. One more time, mirror everything in this folder along this other line. There, perfect. So that's the way how I created then all these individual parts, which you see. Oops, there, very good. Now to create also the openings on the bottom because that's a difficult part when I have everything cut I want to put also my dolls perfectly in so this way here if I would do a CNC machine the machine would cut everything for me uh, and um, in case I do not have this luxury then I could take this bottom plate and like here, make myself a drawing. And you see, I can measure exactly. So this is 2.7 inches, and this is 1.2 inches at a 45 degree. So I would only have to mark where I need to drill. Then I select the correct drill and drill the holes. Just have to be very careful that I uh, try not to align or move these holes a little bit because then it won't really fit anymore. Very good.